This is the Hot Stove with Dusty Baker. You are watching the Hot Stove Trade Deadline Edition. The Chicago White Sox have been a team that I had been very high on several years ago, and I continue to stay very high on them because of how they built their prospect pool. Unfortunately, Eloy Jimenez has been hurt. Yoan Moncada has been decent, but can't do it all by himself. And the rotation outside of Giolito has been rather atrocious. Carlos Rodon cannot stay off the DL whatsoever. So, of course, at the deadline, that means the White Sox will be selling, in my opinion. And some names that they have are pretty decent names. You'll get Jose Abreu, probably the biggest name that could be available at the deadline. More realistically, we'll go to a team that either, of course, needs a first baseman or even more so a DH. And on top of that, teams that need a closer, maybe for a lesser deal than getting guys like Kirby Yates, Vasquez. I, I could see teams going for the White Sox and try to acquire Alex Colomay, the current closer for the White Sox, who's had actually a very solid year as well. Other names you might see because the White Sox have solid relievers are Aaron Bummer, Jace Fry, and Leary Garcia, the outfielder utility man as well for the White Sox could be on the move to a team such as the Twins, the Athletics, the Red Sox even, they could make some sense. One weird report that recently came out, however, indicated that the White Sox have shown some interest in the Rangers outfielder Nomar Mazzara. I don't know how lightly to take that. Mazzara is a very young player. It could make some sense to try out and go and acquire a guy like that that has control for several years. Very young player, can drive guys in, be a middle of the line of presence at the top of his level. He definitely has not reached his peak yet. Very far off from that, actually, in my opinion. I don't know if Mazzara will be on the move for the Rangers, especially as they try and move to the new ballpark. So my guess is the White Sox won't be doing any type of buying whatsoever. My realistic guess at this time is Colome is on the move for sure. Can't tell you exactly where. It's going to be a team that misses out on those closers I had mentioned. But watch out for the Los Angeles Dodgers as a potential fit, as are the Minnesota Twins. I could love to see the Twins get Colome in that bullpen. Possibly even a sleeper would be a reunion with the Tampa Bay Rays. Colome has been there before. The Rays definitely would show some interest in him. I could see that happen. On another level, possibly Jose Abreu to the Rays as well. They could use a DH. They could possibly use a first base type presence as well with a power bat in the middle of the lineup. So the Rays could be a very good match for the White Sox at this time. I can't tell you exactly what's going to happen. I will tell you Bummer will be on the move as well. Going to a team like the Red Sox that desperately need some middle relief help as well. And the Dodgers could be interested in any of those bullpen pieces. Let's say for now that I could see the Rays and the White Sox working something out where Colome and potentially also Jose Abreu go on the road to Tampa Bay. 